Hello and uh, welcome into a new uh, tutorial this time on uh, how to uh, fix the um, Samsung Magician uh, issue regarding the uh, incapability of installing the NVMe driver. This will be especially for the uh, Asus ROG Z490 um, gaming e motherboard, but I'm pretty sure uh, it will be uh, a fix for any uh, Intel system. So this is my setup. You have it right here. Um, I have a uh, SATA. Uh, Samsung SSD 850 EVO 250 gigabyte uh, capacity as the boot drive. It is installed on the first SATA port of the motherboard and also the uh, NVMe um, Samsung SSD uh, 970 EVO Plus 500 gigabytes. I have it uh, installed I believe on the uh, second M.2 uh, slot of this particular motherboard. After the uh, latest update of the uh, Samsung Magician, so right now I have the uh, latest version installed. You can see here if I click update, it says that you are currently running the latest version of Magician. Uh, what happened was that the um, uh, driver, uh, the NVMe driver, uh, disappeared. So right here only the uh, SATA SSD was appearing and here I was getting a message that uh, the system uses the uh, Intel software which is uh, um, not working with the uh, Samsung uh, Magician. Please install the uh, NVMe driver. I went on Samsung's web page, I uh, downloaded the NVMe driver, but when I wanted to install it, although it was already installed on my system, it wouldn't let me do so. Uh, so I was wondering, man, what is, uh, what's going on? I've looked on the web for uh, numerous uh, solutions, but, but none of them worked. Not even the uh, uninstalling and freshly reinstalling the uh, Samsung Magician driver. Uh, it worked perfectly fine, but when it came to install the NVMe driver from Samsung, again, I couldn't uh, enter into the setup. So this is what we need to do. We need to enter BIOS. And now we're into the uh, BIOS. Right here, on the, the ASUS motherboards, we need to go into advanced so right now we are in the advanced tab and here we navigate down in PCH storage configuration so again advanced PCH storage configuration press enter and right now, here, you can see that, in my case, this is the settings that the motherboard chooses to, to have. In the SATA mode selection, for me it is set Intel Rapid Storage Technology Premium with Intel Optane System Acceleration Rate. Some said on uh, the web that you don't need to have this selected, you have to select AHCI, which was the previous 
uh, SSD uh, option. But if I select that one, I will get a blue screen because it will tell me that it doesn't find, it cannot find the uh, boot drive. So this is the case. Otherwise, with this uh, option selected with Intel Optane uh, RST Rapid Storage Technology, for me it works perfectly. But what we need to do is to go here down, so where your PCI storage RAID support M.2 appears, in this case since I have it on the uh, second slot, it is shown here, you can see that there we need to have this selected, not RST controlled, so not rapid storage technology controlled. Before, when I couldn't install the uh, NVMe driver or when it disappeared, this section, uh, this option was selected. RST controlled. So, if you have it in your BIOS, RST controlled, this is what is not letting you see the information on your M.2 uh, NVMe SSD, and you need to simply select not. RST controlled, so no rapid storage technology from Intel um, will dictate how uh, how your M.2 SSD will work. I am pretty sure, no matter what uh, Intel motherboard you have, basically you will find this option in about uh, the same menu. So go. Uh, in the advanced uh, tab and look um, let's go back look for something like this uh, storage configuration or you see right here there is another one PCH advanced PCH configuration but here it says PCH storage configuration. So since your SSD is a storage device, enter on that. And it doesn't matter if you have Intel Optane selected and you don't have an opt Intel Optane device. For me the SSDs work perfectly like this, but make sure the PCI storage rate support is not RST controlled. When you will do this, you will press after this F10, save and exit, you will be able right off the back to install your uh, um, Samsung NVMe driver and you'll be able of course to, uh, to see all the uh, information there. I will uh, quit without uh, saving because I didn't make any changes. And now I will uh, show you back the uh, all the information in the uh, Samsung Magician driver. Okay. So here we have. I really hope uh, this video helps. Uh, thank you so much for uh, supporting my channel. I wish you a pleasant day ahead and I'll catch you in the next one.